So uh, Foursquare is new for me. I've been I've known of Foursquare for a long time. I just never really invested in it. I'm, I'm glad I'm getting around to it. I'm I'm really excited to try these out. So these are all brand new to me. Uh, Stephen, have you the, have you had some of these before? I've had just uh, two of the Foursquare rums, uh, the special exceptional cask. Mm -hmm. I think they call them. Um, what I'm excited about today is this is the um, other side of the coin from our Plantation Barbados testing. Yes. So Plantation has a, a point of view and a way of making their rums, especially those from Barbados, mm -hmm. including those that I particularly like that are sweetened rums. Um, Foursquare, on the other hand, uh, decidedly does not add sugar or sweetness to their rums. Uh, and sticks more to other uh, types of bourbon and other casks mm. to finish, as we're going to find out. Uh, so it's going to be a nice uh, analog to compare the plantation world with the Foursquare world. Uh, it's really a continuation of the Barbados rum testing that we began when we did the other filming. So, so, so for the record, none of these are sweetened. And all of them are from are from Barbados. Right. The, the sherry, yes. uh, those in sherry casks might impart a little bit of sugars naturally out of the sherry casks, yeah. but there's no what they call dosage. Uh, okay. Some of the plantations has dosage, um, which some people uh, aren't fond of. I I make no apologies for liking it, mm -hmm. um, but that's right, Ray. There's no, I love the no added sugar. If it's sugar good, it's here. good. See, so, yeah, I can't speak for the rest of the country, but in uh, in Washington State. These bottles run anywhere from about 90 to about 140 before the taxes. So this is definitely oh. higher-end rum than I'm used to consuming. Yeah, I think this might be the most expensive rum that I've ever drank before in my life. Let's try some of these. All right. Which, okay. uh, which, one, are we gonna, which one are we gonna start with? So, so Stephen, on your, uh, on your encouragement, I think we arranged uh, based on, on alcohol percentage by volume, mm -hmm. largely. Yep. So I think we're starting, I think the sagacity was at 48%. That sounds about right. And that was uh, bourbon and ex Madeira casks. Yeah. All right. Well, sagacity it is. All right. Let's Gentlemen, welcome to Rome. It's got, maybe it's the Madeira, you know, that imparts a little bit mm -hmm. of sweetness. It's got a... I get a hint of a burn on the way down. It's Very got a burn. Surprisingly complex flavor right off the bat. Yeah. Not sweet, though. I mean... No, not, I wouldn't call it sweetened. But there is, this is, this is incredible. I don't feel much of a burn at all, actually. There's a little bit. I, I felt it on more maybe down, on the... On the way down, I get, a, I get a hint of it. It's not anything... I felt it more at least the, bit discomforting. It's it's more it's more of a pleasant embrace of the rum going down. I, felt, I, could, yeah. I could totally drink this straight though. I oh yes, totally, oh, I yeah, could yeah. do. Yeah. I felt the uh, the burn a little more on the first, maybe because it's the very first one we tried. But I Second sip, I definitely get didn't. the bourbon cask, and yeah, maybe it's the Madeira that. And what's the proof on this? Forty-eight. 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 Okay. Or the forty-eight percent. So it'd be ninety-six. Yes, forty-eight percent. I'm sorry, forty-eight percent by volume. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I'll tell you what the taste. And it's a twelve the, year. The taste stays in my mouth. It's actually, it's like, yeah, it's uh, it's still there, you know. It, it's growing, and it's actually in my throat too. I think the Madeira imparts some sweetness to it, which again, I liking the sweeter rums. That I really like that. Mm -hmm. I, I would definitely consider this a drier rum. It is dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a but little bit a of dryness. Sweet. That's what I'm. That's what I was wondering. What I was. Yeah, but it's great. But you get incredible. But yeah, the flavor definitely spreads and builds. It's it's something you could uh, you could, you could sip on and keep getting it getting does. little bits of joy out of it. So what's the next one? Stephen, I'll let you introduce uh, that. Detente. So the detente is fifty one percent by volume, ex bourbon and ex port. So we go Madeira and then it's Portuguese cousin port mm -hmm. in, in this one. Ten year instead of twelve. Came out in August uh, twenty twenty. So okay. Um, so the difference, I guess, primarily is two years and. Madeira versus port, which should be interesting. Um, so you think this might be radically different than the first one? I'm not radically. I'm thinking, I'm curious whether the Madeira, which is a, a, a Portuguese wine, uh, how much different flavor that'll impart from the port, which is also Portuguese wine, uh, from the, uh, the, the casks that they've used. Well, that's right. They may be very similar because of that. It is different. It's smoother at first, but then there's, a, there's a sharp edge of flavor to it. Much smoother. It's not, yeah, it, it goes down much smoother. It starts off much smoother, but there's a there's a jump or bite of flavor at the back of my tongue on that. Yeah, exactly. Um, just a little bit of a, a jump. It doesn't have the burn of the other one, but it doesn't have the complexity either. No, I would say the sagacity it's, to me was more complex. Yeah, I'd, I'd take the sagacity for its 
complexity, mm-hmm. although there's more of a burn. And it has both dry and sweet, whereas the detente, it's a little hard to distinguish. It's not as complicated. The, the detente is very mellow. There's that, that little sharp bite of flavor there when you first get it in your mouth. But I'm not getting that, that build that I got. The sagacity just, it kind of jumped up in layers. I agree. I think I like the sagacity so far. But I, this is great, too. But I oh, think I, I would I'm never complain about this. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. I, I think the other, but I, I agree. But if we got to compare this one's one more milder, another. which is surprising. Yeah, so this is the one, I, if I'm alone uh, watching TV, I would sip with. But with friends who like rum a lot, I think the sagacity is the, the marquee. Mm. I like the sagacity better for its complexity. This is one, though, I can really... Like I say, because it's so smooth, it's one I can really get behind when watching TV yeah. or There's something. There's a distinctive flavor, but it's really mild. It's kind of it like you're, you're chasing it, trying to figure it out is. what it is. It is. But the sagacity is a lot more The sagacity is fun. more towards my palate. It, Me too. It's a, it's a, I, like, I like my runs with a little bit of a bite. So what's next? What's next? Uh, redoubtable. Redoubtable. Yes, which means formidable. They, they use a lot of fancy words. Sagacity meaning wise, sage, wisdom. Detente meaning a cessation of hostilities, uh, redoubtable, formidable. So here we are, ex bourbon, ex Madeira, fourteen years. And okay, so it's this a, bad boy was twelve years, right? And this was, I think, August twenty nineteen of uh, Sagasta. Okay, September twenty twenty. Okay, sixty one percent. So one hundred twenty two proof. That's a jump up. So yeah. it's a jump up. A jump up. So, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's. I wonder what that jump up's going to do. You said 14 years cask aging on this? Yeah, 14 on this one. Yeah. Okay. And tw- versus 12. So this should be very similar to Sagacity. Redoubtable, boys. Who knows? Let's try it. Let's try it. It's nothing like the Sagacity. No. This is its own thing. Very much so. Smoother. It's smoother, it's smoother but, it does, but it there does is have a bold flavor. There is a there is a bite to it though, but it's a different bite mm-hmm. though. This this is its own thing. This tastes great. Yeah, whereas the the, the flavor that I got off the detente was sharp. This is a like a widespread taste. Like it, it just yeah. spreads across my palate. Yeah, that's that's. But the then same it, thing it kind of subsides. It doesn't build the way the sagacity. It's very did. warm. Yeah, warm again. Back of tongue burn for me. Not so much in the throat. The sagacity had a little more in the throat. Yes, on the on the swallow there was there was. But some I heat. found more complexity in the sagacity. This one's a smoother. Would you say this is this smoother? Is, this is more. This is more complex than than the other one. Than detente. Yeah. Yes. Oh, agreed. But but then but sagacity. I, <laughs> these two are are on the label. These two have very little, little to distinguish themselves. Yet the taste is. All three are different to me. They all taste oh, yeah. like completely different. Oh, I wouldn't mistake any of them for the other. Yeah. yeah. This is um, warmer mm-hmm. and richer than the sagacity. And the reason I keep coming back to Sagacity, as I said, the labels, except for two years casking, are are identical almost. This is, has a little more alcohol, yet the burn is not as pronounced. I'm still surprised by the uh, the building and sustained flavor on the Sagacity. That was that was very surprising. Almost like the bourbon comes through a little bit more in the Redoubtable. Mm-hmm. Maybe that extra two years of aging. I like Redoubtable and Sagacity both, but they are different enough that... Mm-hmm. I could drink them. So I think that the sagacity, the way the flavor just stays with you. Yeah. But the redoubtable is warmer and mm-hmm. a bit smoother. Okay. And maybe it's that, that two years, that's what it imparts. Mm-hmm. But yet the sagacity cuts through with the flavoring cuts through more because it is stronger. Right. Um, but if you, I put them next to each other, I wouldn't know that they were so identical in, in the, the, the preparation. Was, you know, two years of... Aging there. Uh, yeah, it's the only difference. Both are excellent. And both I like better than the detente uh, because of the complexity. The is definitely smoother yes. than the sagacity. Yes. But which do you like the flavors better? I, I like a, Well, I like the redoubtable, and I really like the sagacity. I'm, I caught them on the fence now. Yeah. I they're am both too. great. Yeah. But they're not, they're not similar, though. Well, they're s- not the same. Definitely yeah. not the same. Want to support the Tiki with Ray show and look cool doing it at the same time? Then head over to TikiWithRay.com and buy yourself a Tiki with Ray shirt. They're only $20. Tony Canepa did the design and the screen print in America. So moving on, the next is the Sibboleth, is that correct? Yep, Sibboleth. Sibboleth, another fancy word. They love to use these. So what does that one mean? Did you look that up? The word? Yes. Um, the word is... 
um, akin to jargon. It's sort of like um, a word that only the in crowd would know or say, or an accent that only the in crowd, or okay. like a password, okay. like a jargon or a password, a or a pronunciation vernacular. Okay. Um, but, but implying that you're with the in crowd, Sibboleth. Because when I saw that name at first, I thought it yeah. sounded like a creature from H.P. Lovecraft. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Well, it does sound like that. Um, it's a it's an unusual word. They Foursquare loves these uh, fancy words. Now this one has only been aged in ex bourbon. Okay. Sixteen years. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, March twenty twenty one. So it's very new. Uh, come out. Fifty six percent alcohol by volume. So one hundred twelve proof. Um, yeah. And I just want to say this is a, a birthday gift from my buddy Eric. This is what he gave to me for my 50th birthday. So thank you, Eric. Yes. Much appreciated. It was a nice gift. <laughs> yeah. I got good friends. It, yeah. <laughs> so let's try this one. So All do right. I have to say that this is my favorite one then? All right. Uh, yeah, apparently you did. You just committed, <laughs> at least it, while Eric's watching. Yeah. It's his All right, your favorite. Here's to Eric Allred. Right. Cheers. Eric. Okay, and, that is both smooth and And flavorful. you know what? Smooth and I think flavorful. it might be my favorite so far. <laughs> this is great. It's wow. very smooth. It's I I thought without having the Madeira or sherry or mm -hmm. other wine cask, it would be harsher. No, this lost the sharpness. Bourbon. Um, no, this is very good. smooth. It has smooth as the detente, but it's got more. It imparts more flavor than the detente. Yeah, I think I think that's getting some of the best characteristics we've noticed on the others so far. Yeah, although I'm still a fan of the redoubtable slash sagacity. Um, but there's, there's just, the burn's not there, which is nice. I mean, if you don't want, I thought being in bourbon only, there would be more of a burn instead of less. It's even smoother than the Daytona. I, I think a bourbon is a sweet, smooth liquor. So yeah. that's, that's my yeah, opinion of bourbon in general. Yeah, and these all have bourbon, actually, but um, not finishing them off in the wine. Um, so is, is, it the, is it the wine barrels or wine casks that add the, the sharpness to maybe, it? Maybe, maybe, which is counterintuitive to me, which shows you. How much I have to learn about this. <laughs> Doesn't have a strong nose either. It is surprisingly smooth. It is very drinkable, isn't it? Whereas the Redoubtable and Sagacity, I drink a little bit or add some water mm -hmm. to open it up and smooth it out. This one needs no water. It uh, it isn't as complex though. I will, but it is excellent. Yeah, Eric, you did good. You did good. Thank you, buddy. Did good. Mm. What do you think, Jason? If you're going to evaluate so far, four out of five, is this number one, or I, I would. Are you back in, in the? In a moment, I'd have to pour myself some more sagacity to figure it out. But between between the sagacity and the Sibboleth, I those are top choices right now. The Redoubtable just wasn't as flavorful as I wanted it to be. It was smoother, but not as flavorful. And the Detente was just a little on the flat side for me. It yeah. was very. I mean, it was delicious. It was smooth. Not no complaints. It just if you're. I, I like the flavor. I like the, the kind of bang pattern. Uh, yeah, well, for the price point, you I think you expect more complexity, mm -hmm. and maybe the detente didn't deliver. Again, it's the one I'm going to drink the most of, but in terms of flavors, the complexity of Sagacity and Redoubtable, but the, the Sibboleth adds the smoothness, even has smoother, smoother in the detente with some flavor, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. Um, but the, 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 what you really liked, Jason, about sagacity and to s even more than redoubtable was the long lingering aftertaste. Right. And I, and I don't get that length of flavor off of the other. Uh, the Sibboleth doesn't have yeah. the long aftertaste or has many complex flavors, but it's delicious and drinkable. Yeah. No question about it. It's quality. Um, I agree, all the way. I agree. Well, let's go back in time to 2008. <laughs> yeah. And in 2008 is the year I moved to Pittsburgh, actually. I lived oh, in Pittsburgh from 2008 go. to 2009. And this is ex-bourbon only. Uh, 12 years. How many years was the Sibboleth? Sibboleth was 16, so this may not be as smooth. Let's see. Ex-bourbon, 12 years. Came out in April of 2020. So, But it is stronger. It's uh, 120 proof. 60% alcohol. Whoa. Oh, wow, all right. Yeah, so... Um, We'll see what the difference between four years in bourbon and a little bit. What would we say? This that was sixty percent. This is fifty six percent. So not okay. a huge difference, eight proof difference. But let's try it. This is my this is my style of rum. Is it? I think this might be my favorite. 
the bites back, Jason. Mm -hmm. And just like Jason calls it the bang pow, mm -hmm. you know, I call it the bite, and this has the bite, and right. It's almost like the feeling you get on your tongue from carbonation, yeah, like with like a sort of a caramelly finish. As much as I love, I love my gift from Eric. I think this might be my favorite. Okay, I'm the opposite, uh, interestingly, because. Okay. The, the, it's not smooth, I'll tell you that. The, well, it's well, smooth, but it's not as smooth as the Sibboleth. And they're, no. They're, they are similar. These two, you can tell they're from the same... You think so? I think so. I think so. But the, um, that extra four years takes away some of the bite, but that what I think you might be thinking, it takes away a little bit of the taste as well. Oh, this isn't sweet at all. But I like the bite. No, really? Uh, because I, I got a little that definitely sweeter than the uh, Sagacity. Do you think it's sweet? Oh, yeah. I got a, a little bit drier. of sweetness in it. I get sweetness right off the bat from it. I get sweetness in the middle, but yeah, a little bit, and it goes away, though. So I am torn between the Sibboleth and the 2008. I'm actually really torn. It's just an excuse to drink more on camera, frankly. <laughs> Let me have that, Brian. Yeah, Let me yeah, try yeah, that yeah. again. I, I need to make a comparison. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> yeah, so you see that warm, dry, building flavor. I, I really enjoy that. What I'm fascinated by, before we get to our overall impressions, Jason, is the battle between the 2008 and the Sibboleth. And I, the, our D and E. Or four and five, so. Well, I, real, I, real, I realize, okay, as I've been doing these Welcome to Run videos with mm -hmm. you, Jason, mm -hmm. I'm realizing that, like, when I first started this, I would assume that I would be favorable to like the smooth the smoother the better mm -hmm. and i'm realizing that that is not the case at all as you taste i want to crave that flavor i want that bite but for me with the bite comes the flavor and what i'm mm -hmm. noticing is when a rum becomes too smooth the flavor is lost or a and, bit of the flavor is lost yeah and i'm realizing that i like as you say the bang pow and and, and i mean i'm gonna be i love i love the 2008 I, the Sibboleth I, is warmer. This is my favorite. But down. less of a finish. This, the... So 2008 is warm. A bit more sweet. I can't <clears throat> the sag sagacity. Excuse me. It's got a bite to it. Wow. You can't go wrong with either one. No. So if I had to order them right now... I think the Sibboleth is the best combination of flavor and smoothness for me. Okay. I think the Sagacity, the overall flavor and that building nature of it, I like it a little better than the 2008. Okay. But not by, it's not a giant, it's it's a very small graduation there. So I would go Sibboleth. Are we doing it? Are we I, I would do oh, it. going down the line now? Yeah, I, I would do Let's it. do it. Let's I do, do it. Do Final Sibboleth. rating, ladies and gentlemen. Sibboleth. Okay, Jason, where do you go? How do you I would go Sibboleth, I think, was the top of these. Mm. Then the Sagacity, which there's a pretty big price jump. I think there's about a $40 or $50 price jump between those mm -hmm. two. Okay. Sagacity being the lower price. Then the uh, the 2008 for me, then the Redoubtable, and then the Detente. Okay. So the Detente, and the Detente was excellent. And then, like, like, you know, when you're in this kind of company, what do you do? Right. Right. These are all amazing. Um, Stephen, what's your, how do you go? Okay, it. I guess it depends on my mood. I would, <laughs> what kind of mood are you in? <laughs> well, let's let's see. Depends I on what think you're the Sibboleth, then the 2008, okay. but I put them very close because they are in the same ballpark. Yeah. They are similar, and Sibboleth and 2008. Um, but I stick with the Sibboleth between the Redoubtable and Sagacity. I go with the Sagac Sagacity, although I do like the Redoubtable. Um, and then just for pure, just sitting down on the couch drinkability, but at a higher price point. I think maybe if you go with the Dorleys, you might be hmm. just as happy. Well, the Dorleys, the Dorleys is not as smooth as the Detente. I mean, I'm not tasting the side by side. The Twelve and the XO, have, though, right. are two different. So, well, yeah, the XO, the XO is very is very is has a is bold and flavorful. The 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 Twelve is a lot smoother, but not as flavorful. Not as flavorful. But, but I, the detente, like I say, mm -hmm. uh, a bit high price point, but for a sipping, just sitting down by yourself. So I think I'm going to go Sibboleth, Sagacity, 
uh, has my my tops. And then where from there? Oh, so Sybil at 2008, Sagacity, Detente. Uh, Sagacity, uh, Redoubtable, and then Detente. And it, I okay. put these in the same class, these two in the same class, and this in its own class. Okay. And my, Ooh, That was my, complicated. And how, and how I got to go. I mean, I got to go with the 2008. This was the one that the, I was most impressed with. I like the bite. Mm-hmm. I do. I realize that I do like the bite. I do love... I do love Eric's gift to me, but I, I, I'd be lying if I couldn't say that I was the most impressed with the sagacity after the 2008. So the sagacity then, how do you say this word? The, the, the Sibboleth. Rum, Sibboleth. Is, I'm, Sibboleth. I'm, I'm, the, the rum's kicking in. Then the redoubtable. Then the, 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 the what's that, what's that again? Uh, sagacity. Redoubtable. Oh, Detente. Oh, boy. Yeah. Detente. 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 Yeah. See, that's the thing. As I get, as they I, tell yeah, yeah, I know. Much, as I have more rum in me, it's hard for it's me. Getting, to it's getting, it's getting, yeah, hard for me for me to speak. These Spanish. are not wimpy. I was going to say hard for me to speak Spanish, but <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, they're, the thing is that they're all, they're all doing their job. But that's how I feel. These are not me. wimpy rums. So, so 2008 Sagacity, Sibboleth, Redoubtable, Dental. But they're all incredible. They're all incredible. And they're like all I say, incredible. The funniest thing is Detente, even though that's our fifth out of five, is the first one in my, of the of those that I have that is going to be drunk by me. Yeah. Because they are because it is so drinkable. It's very drinkable. Yeah. Even I, though I these are all, even though it's that. the fifth, so you can't go wrong with any of these. So the, the moral the, the, of the story the, is, the, if no. you have a big birthday and are given a quality rum <laughs> from Foursquare, enjoy. Yeah.